What's up everybody, Kedrin here, and today I'm going to bring you guys a quick little tutorial on how to make this quick little double jump function. It's really simple, it's really easy, but it's using uh, not only blueprints, but it's using an enumeration as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and set that up real quick, and let's get you guys double jumping. Okay, so everything that you're going to need is set up right here, and then we're going to use the on landed event as well. Um, you're only going to need one of these little paths unless you have a sprinting system as well. Um, and then you can add sprinting into your enum. But the first thing that we're going to need to do before anything is we're going to set up an enumeration real quick. So what you can do is you can just come anywhere and you can right click. You can come up here to blueprints and you come down here to enumeration. You can name it whatever you want, but I named mine E underscore mobility state. And so when we come in here, all this is is just a big data table for the individual states that you want to be able to switch on. Because there's a function within the blueprint called switch on enumerator but if you set it up off of here you just type in switch and it pulls that mobility state enum and then from there what we can do is we can actually set up individual tasks off of the mobility state but in order for them to execute the mobility state has to change so as we set the mobility state back and forth then it'll allow us to do different things so right here off of flying, you can ignore all of this because this is only for my flying functionality whenever I press my jump key. So all we're going to focus on is jump and then the double jump down here. So back in our enumerator, the only things that you have to actually have to make this work are jumping, double jumping, and walking. If you don't have a sprinting system, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have it. Those are the only three that we're going to need to make this work. So you just come up here, you click add enumerator, you can rename it to whichever state you'd like, and you can add a description for it if you'd like. Before we do anything, we have to create a variable to hold our character mobility state like it says up here. And so what I did, and what you're supposed to do, is you just come down here, you make a new variable, you name it whatever you'd like, and then you come over here to the variable type, and you just type E underscore mobility state and then you click the mobility state and then it will lock itself to our enumerator. And then you just drag that in, you pull off, and like I said earlier, you type in switch on integer and then you bring up that and it will bring all of your tabs out. If it's collapsed, just click the little arrow down and it'll drop all of your tabs out, but yours shouldn't have as many as mine does, so. And then to make this work, all we're gonna do is we're going to drag off of the walking like I said, you don't have sprinting unless you do have sprinting, um, but so we're just going to use walking. So you drag off walking and you type in jump. So we just get the normal jump command like this, the jump function. And then we set our character mobility state to jumping. And then you don't have to put this print string. This is just for debugging. But for me, it just tells me when I'm jumping. Um, and that's our jump set. But now, whenever we press the jump key and we're in the air, our character mobility state will be in jumping. And now, while we're in the jumping state, we're going to launch our character, 1200 on the Z axis, and make sure to tick both of these boxes for X, Y, and Z override. You don't have to tick the X, Y override. That's if you want your character to keep moving forward. But if you want your character to kind of like stop and reset the jump in midair uh, so you can do like angular momentum uh, then you want to tick this box to make sure both of them are overridden but then we're just going to set our character mobility state to double jumping at this time and then we're going to play our montage which is my double jump montage and it's just the quick little jump and for the effect all i did was i came down here on the notify track i right clicked and i clicked addify add notify state if i could actually speak um, no, actually it's on add notify and I clicked play Niagara particle effect and then I just added my jump cloud. So we just want to make sure that we have an anim montage for that and then we plug it in right there. Now, this will work as it is now. And off of the release key, you have stop jumping. But when your character touches the ground, it won't go back to your walking state because you'll still be in double jumping. So in order to fix that and to make it work properly, we have the on landed event. So off of on landed, you don't have to have this branch. Like I said, it's just for sprinting, but we're going to set our movement mode, our character movement mode to walking. This is just because I have flying enabled. You don't have to have this, but you can. Um, and then off of this, you don't have to have any of these three because these are my personal variables. We're just going to set our mobility state back to walking or sprinting 
depending on whichever one you're in. Um, but so for us, we're just going to set it back to walking. And so this, whenever we land now, it will set our mobility mode back to walking and then we can go back into our jump and then our double jump. And if you even wanted to, on the double jump event, <clears throat> you technically could have a triple jump. So it's jump, now we're in jumping, and now we're double jumping, and then you could have a triple jump after that if you wanted to. But it's quick, it's simple, and it's actually really easy. You can customize it as much as you want. You can add to the Z value. You can add a forward vector to your character if you really wanted to, to make your character jump and have him pushed forward depending on where he's facing. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with this, but with the enumerations, you can do a lot more than just setting up a bunch of branches. And you can do all of this with a giant branch tree if you'd like, but this is much more comprehensive and compact. And so there's your double jump for you guys. I hope you enjoy. If you did, uh, go ahead and leave me a like and I'll catch y'all later. Kettering out.